Boom. 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 Yo, boom. Another heart. What's up, Big Guapo? What you doing? I'm just being exact in Miami. Miami, let's get out of Miami Town. All right, let's go fly, boy. Young heart, bust down the door. It's locked. Miguel angry. Angry with what? Make Miguel. Make him angry. Angry with what, Miguel? A cat. Stop, Stop. Oh. Come, on, come on, come on, yo, yo. Let's see what's the problem. The SAT is coming up in ten days, and I have no time to study. Alright, let's see. What can we help you with? Uh, I don't understand this question right here. The math section of the SAT is 25 minutes long, which averages out each question to one minute. So as long as you take one minute on each question, you should do good. Going off of what Young and Hart said, if you look at question 10, you can use process of elimination to help you solve the answer in one minute. Looking at question 10, you know that you have to plug in 2 for x. So your answer would have to be divided by 2. So you can automatically assume that e is not one of your answer choices. So you can eliminate e. Also, if the question is too hard for you to solve in one minute, you can also skip the question and move on. That is right, Flyboy. It is correct to skip problems and come back to them at a later time uh, if you don't know what you're solving. Uh, this is due to the fact because if you get a problem incorrect on the SAT, it will cause you a half a point. And no, you do not want to lose half a point. You want to score a uh, 1550. Good luck, juniors. This is H. Rocco signing out. <laughs>